Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Mudfish VPN to work with Warhammer Online Return of Reckoning, the private server. It's in France, and if you're not in the EU, then your connection probably sucks, and using a VPN can boost it. Now, the reason I'm going to show you how to set up Mudfish is because unlike other gaming VPNs like What the Fast, uh, No Ping, Exit Lag, and so on, you don't pay a monthly fee, it's just a f you add credit and it goes off your usage. Um, I added five bucks onto my Mudfish account in 2016 and I've used it ever since then and I still haven't gone through by five bucks. So it's a very good economic option. It works great. Now, the issue is for Return of Reckoning, we just have to set it up ourselves. There is a Warhammer Online entry in Mudfish, but uh, it's not pointing at the right IP address. I'm guessing the Return of Reckoning server IP changed. And so we need to set it up ourselves. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So go to mudfish.net, make an account. They give you a few cents of credit to play with, I'm pretty sure. And you want to go, you're going to want to go to edit profile once you've got your account set up and turn on expert mode because you are now an expert. So once you've done that, you download the client, you um, install the client, open it, log in, and you will be presented with this dashboard to control everything. Now you can see here, we're on a local dashboard. Um, you can see my items here. So my items are Final Fantasy 14 and Warhammer Online. This is the one that comes with Mudfish, as you can see. It knows about Return of Reckoning, but I'm guessing it's old, it's outdated, it's pointing at the wrong IP address. So, we're gonna have to make our own. Now, if you don't have expert mode enabled, then you will need to enable it, and if it's still not working, you're gonna need to log out and back in. Um, if you don't see this plus when you go to item, manage items, then you don't have expert mode enabled. So, we need to make our own entry here. So, we put in return of reckoning, set an icon if you like, and then all we need to do is set which IP addresses we are actually going to route through the VPN. Now, um, I'm gonna show you how to find out what IP, what IP addresses both the return of reckoning launcher and the actual game client itself use, uh, so that if it changes in future, you can figure it out yourself. Uh, if you know this video is recent, Feel free to copy paste what I've done, and it's probably going to be the same. But just so I don't have to future, this will future proof the video if I show you how to do it yourself. So you're going to want to open the Windows Resource Monitor. I'm sure there's an equivalent way to do this on other operating systems. I'm a Linux user. I just came over here because I knew most people would be using Windows. So we're just going to be finding out in network and TCP connections uh, what IP addresses our um, programs are actually using. So I've got the RR launcher open. Uh, I am going to click connect. And what do you know? It's a game client. So let's see where ROR launcher just went. It went to 46.105.54.77. You can see that here. So I'm going to put that in. It is 46.105.54.77. Okay. And so if we look at War64, we can see that the game client is pointing at the same address as the login server. So obviously the launcher uses it for authentication and then the game client um, verifies it that way. And then we can see another address here. And this is the address of the, um, you know, Martyr Square actual game server. So that's 149.202.64.61. So I'm going to put that in as well. If you want to be safe, you can, you know, put in the, the, the ranges of these in case it, like, moves a little bit. It doesn't really matter. And so for the RTT check, I'm going to put in the actual game server. That's 61. Now, this is important. This is the uh, actual address that um, it uses to determine the fastest node to connect to for your connection. So I'm going to say this is the RR server. France and add. Okay, cool. Now, you can see here, it's now calculating which node to select. So, what that means is that it is going to connect from your machine to every Mudfish node in the fleet, which is like hundreds. Um, and then from there, it's going to go to the server we provided, which is the Return of Reckoning server. And so you can see for me, my ping was like something like 300 before, 308. So this is before the VPN was enabled. You can see my ping is 308. And it's determined that by going through this node in Singapore, I can get that down to 257. Um, so that's pretty cool. Now, if you want to get fancy, you can go like multi-path mode. So, um, 
you know, maybe routing to Singapore is the easiest way, but maybe if I route specifically from Singapore to somewhere else in Europe, I can optimize this number down even further. That can take some playing with, but that's something you can do yourself. I just leave it on the simple mode. I'm happy with, with this game, uh, but that's all you have to do. It just determines the optimal path automatically based on the IP address you give it. So now I'm going to click save. And we're ready to go. So now that's enabled, we've got the right IP addresses in. And to prove it works, I'm just going to close the client. And I'm going to reopen it again. And I'm just going to show me being logged in. And then I'll show you the resource monitor to see if my ping has in fact gone down from that 308 we saw earlier. So um, the size of the window is slightly off, but you know, you'll be right. We are connected. Do, 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 do. We have logged in, and I'm going to click play on my shaman here, who's looking extremely handsome. Now, if I pull up the resource monitor, War64, it's still loading in, so this might be a bit variable as I load into the city. 260, it's down to 249 for the login server that it's not using anymore. I think the service at max capacity, so that's why this might be taking a while. And I'm in. Look at that. And look at that. My ping is down to 262-248. which is much improved over what we would, what we were seeing before. So there you go. So yeah, that's how to set up the Mudfish VPN. After that, all you need to do is launch it, you know, before you play the game, and everything will happen for you. So that's how to set up Mudfish VPN, and you won't have to pay any money for it ever again, probably. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this guide. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you. Um, that's all I've got. If you're from... Australia or NA and you're looking for a destruction side RVR guild then I will leave a link in the description to my guild as well it's a great choice if you are from Australia very accommodating to the Aussies um, great uh, raid times on Saturday and Sunday so check that out if you are looking hope this works for you and I'll see you next time